What causes a heart attack? A heart attack or myocardial infarction means that there is death of some of the heart muscle. This is caused by a blood clot blocking an artery and resulting in a lack of blood supply. As we get older, the smooth inner lining of the heart arteries becomes damaged and thickened due to the accumulation of fatty material called atheroma, made up predominantly of cholesterol. This process is known as atherosclerosis. Previously, it was thought that a progressive narrowing in the coronary artery caused heart attacks. It is now clear that this process can sometimes occur in coronary arteries that have minor narrowings when cracks or fissures develop in plaques. The exposed damage inner lining of the coronary artery wall causes blood cells called platelets to stick to the damaged area and start the formation of blood clots within the artery. These blood clots prevent the flow of blood, vital for the heart muscle to survive. If the artery is blocked for more than a few minutes, the muscle cells beyond the blockage may become permanently damaged. It remains unknown why heart attacks happen when they do, sometimes affecting people who seem to have been perfectly well. Certain factors are known to increase the risk of having a heart attack. Smoking, family history of heart disease at a young age, high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol levels, lack of physical exercise, diabetes. The heart muscle that is injured by this blockage may become irritable and can cause irregularity in the heart rhythm. This can be fatal by causing a cardiac arrest even when it appears that very little heart muscle has been damaged. This is why it is very important if you think you are having a heart attack, you should call for an ambulance. If having taken GTN, two puffs at five minute intervals up to 15 minutes, your symptoms have not resolved, you should call an ambulance without delay. The damaged heart muscle eventually heals with a scar, but may not be able to pump quite as much as it did before. In the majority of patients, however, there is enough good muscle left for the heart to function adequately and for recovery to be complete.